Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I would like to thank you for taking part in the Horasis Global Meeting. It was a long day and the summit is still going on. We convened 600 speakers over more than 100 sessions. Many senior leaders from government, business and society participated and proposed ideas on how to shape the world's agenda. And we discussed how to overcome climate change, how to overcome the COVID pandemic, and how to overcome the invasion in Ukraine. Multilateralism and democracy are the way to go. We have to unite. We have to join hands to tackle the challenges we are all facing right now. It's now my great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to call on Graham Kendall, the senior vice president of Petra Group, uh, our strategic partner of the event, who is also the CEO of the Good Capitalism Forum, and he's serving as our rapporteur today and sharing some key takeaways of uh, the Horasis Global Meeting. Graham, uh, the floor okay. is yours. Thanks very much, Frank, and welcome, everyone, and um, thanks for being here. First, apologies for my lighting. I'm at home at the moment. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, and it's 2 a.m. here. I can't do anything about the light. The light is the light. Um, so, offer my thanks to Frank again. Um, as Frank said, I'm the CEO of the Good Capitalism Forum, um, and I'm a senior vice president of the Petra Group, <clears throat> and we're a strategic partner of um, the Harassis meeting, and we're very honoured to do that, and we're very pleased to do that. This is the second year we've done that, and hopefully it'll be a long-term um, relationship that we're doing. Um, I've been involved with this for two years now um, under, if I'm honest, Frank's guidance. I, I was just saying to Frank just before um, everyone joined, I really don't know how he does this. Um, you know, he's got 600 speakers and I was um, on a panel earlier on and Frank dropped in to make sure everything was OK. And I honestly don't know how he does that. Um, so one of the takeaways for me is how to how to run one of these events professionally. And I know this event um, and associated events used to be done in person and it's gone online for obvious reasons over the last couple of years. Um, and under the leadership of Frank, his organization has managed to somehow make that happen and make it work very well. Um, so I think a key takeaway for me is that one of, is how you run an event like this and how you keep it going. And I think it's because of the the commitment of of people like Frank and his willingness to send emails and get in contact with people, drop in on sessions to just make sure everything runs runs well. But on the topic of the subjects that we've spoken about, I suppose I've got two interests. I before I got involved in the Petra Group, I was an academic and I used to work in AI, artificial intelligence, and I did attend one of the sessions on AI. And it's absolutely fascinating the way AI is shaping our future. Um, and it was the topic I was in was all about the ethics of AI and how we can cope with AI in a changing world, um, which is some ways scary and some ways very exciting. But it's through conversations and thinking about these things that we can actually change the future. The other thing that I'm involved in now in my, if you like, my industrial career, as I call it, is social capitalism and that's the event i was talking about earlier on about as capitalists we shouldn't be afraid of making money but then we should invest back into society to try and you know make sure that people have got a roof over their head um, food in their stomachs and can be educated they're the sort of three things that we would like to see change over the next five ten years um and you know and Frank will be involved in this and he's a great supporter of it. We're running um, a good capitalism forum, an event looking at social capitalism in April next year at um, Cambridge University at, at Homerton College. Um, but one of the things I was encouraging people today at our event was please get engaged with us and all the other topics that have been going on, because otherwise you're just going to hear the same people talking about the same things. I'll sit and lecture you about AI. I'll sit and lecture you about social capitalism, but we need people to actually challenge what we're saying, to have the debate, have the discussion, engage in events like this and the events that we're running um, on everything, on AI, on social capitalism. And as Frank 
spoke about climate change, COVID, you know, the Ukraine crisis that we're all faced with at the moment. Um, so, you know, lessons learned. I've learned a lot from Frank over the last couple of years, actually, on how to do these events and really how to be professional. And I, I don't know whether he stays calm under a crisis, but he seems to to me. He does a fantastic job. And the takeaways is we just need to keep this conversation going, but we need to make sure that we turn that conversation into real change. We don't want to just sit here and talk about the same things for years and years and years. We actually want to make some actions out of that. Um, so with that, I'll finish. I'll thank everyone who turned up. I thank all the speakers, all the presenters, everyone who took part. Um, I thank Frank for his um, time and his patience and his effort. Um, and I look forward to meeting many of you again, I hope, on different platforms, but certainly at um, Harris's events, whether it's this one next year or hopefully some face-to-face -face ones. I think there's one in Indo Indonesia, am I right, Frank? I'm not exactly. Sure. Yeah. So hopefully we'll meet some of you there. So thanks very much, Frank. Thanks very much, everybody else. And I hope you got as much as we did out of the, um, the discussions and debate and uh, look forward to seeing you all again. Thanks so much, Graeme. A fantastic um, summary. And uh, you mentioned, uh, you know, one very important topic. It's trust. Uh, when people work together um, based on trust, uh, the community uh, being able really to move things and and moving actually uh, the discussion into action as well. And that's actually the, the next point, uh, really tackling climate change and the other challenges we have, uh, a joint action based on trust. I'm now inviting you to join the last uh, two round of sessions. Please enjoy the remainder of the summit. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.